The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Good on, man. Jim from Minneapolis. We are taking by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo... I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. Radio five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have a perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 142, NASDAQ off 50, S&P's off 13. Now, NDC wise out here, folks, let's start with the Dow Industrials. So we've been hitting a new high each and every day. What we had out here yesterday is that, you know, the Dow had got to, got to the new high, bottom up, gave it up uh, intraday, okay? Dow hit that 28,090, we're 27,795, and we are going to get out here today is that you're going to get an expansion of volume as the market moves to lower price. So what that's going to do is that that's going to give the market a chance, number one, to have some follow through out here uh, tomorrow. NDX 100, same type of setup. We go look at the uh, NDX 100. This is what is actually leading the market actually lower. Uh, right now, the NDX, uh, the three Qs are down $1.55. Uh, and the differential is pretty, pretty dramatic, folks. When you see a differential that's this, this dramatic, you talk about supply versus demand, well, it, it's pretty intense. Uh, we haven't done, thus far, you did, you did 27 million shares out here already today. That says we're going to do maybe, you know, 37 million at least. The last time that we did over 37 million was going all the way back to October 14th. Uh, we had done 41 million. We made a high yesterday, an all-time high of 16 million. The prior day was 18 million. The prior day was 18 million. Those are all all-time highs. When you come off the all-time highs and you have volume on the way down, your probability is that you're going to get some follow-through. And the I, uh, the, the Russell 2000, Russell 2000 has been showing for quite some time now. Uh, huge divergence, just doesn't have a juice behind it. That's got 14 million. That's going to also have a con uh, expansion of volume as we get to lower price. Notes and bonds have been saying it for quite some time. And what's going to get really intriguing here, we'll bring this up too, uh, inside of the Fed Fund Futures. So the note and bond market Yesterday, we didn't get volume behind the move. Today, you have volume. We did 1.9 million contracts already. We'll end up doing a couple million contracts. You're up 12 ticks. Uh, bottom line, we're off this low that was established out here about two weeks ago at 127.31. You're at 129.26. That's saying, hey, guess what? The highs are game once again, which is 132.13. The 30-year is right there with the 10, meaning you have the wide price spread. You have the volume behind the move. A little big volume behind the move, too, actually, in the 30. We're at 329,000 contracts out here. You're up a full point. You're at 160.11. Uh, bottom line, that puts on the radar, once again, it's all-time high of 166.25. Big numbers. There's no two ways about that. Some of the higher volume equities out here. The thing that's pretty amazing, too, is that we had, uh, you had Tiger uh, go up big time out here. Tiger's up $16.00. Come out with numbers, monster numbers. Lows, good move on, on lows also. Uh, bottom line, some of the higher volume equities outside of those two. Uh, you have uh, Ford Motors down 21 cents. You got uh, Bank of America is uh, down 30 cents. 
Ma Bell is off a buck. We have uh, Roku is up uh, $4. McEwen Mining, that's, uh, that's something you don't see up there too often. That's down 24 cents. If you do follow the gold market, folks, okay, uh, this one's a really interesting one. He's doing a uh, secondary out there in the marketplace, but you get, if, you, if you do follow this, okay, you're going to be doing 37.8 million units at $1.33, where this closed at $1.55 yesterday. But if you do follow this, uh, basically, he sold some stock last week off a different company, uh, 300,000 shares, and you, you knew that something was com coming along down the pike. That's, that's, how, uh, that's how I took it anyway. There's no two ways about that. Uh, it's always important that if you have companies that are doing uh, basically secondaries, or they do a shelf offering, what a shelf offering specifically is, is that they say they, they put something on the shelf at the SEC that they can sell at any time, or if you see... Uh, some larger trades that are, that are coming off that you suspect actually is a different company, but it's, it's management unloading. The bottom line is that it is always a, a monster heads up, you know, that, hey, listen, you better back down for a second and see what's going on there. Uh, he plans to use that $37 million to basically uh, push those mines forward. Bottom line is that uh, stock's down $0.20 cents, uh, today for a $1.30 stock. The silver market, let's go take a look at the silver, S-I-Z-9. Silver market out here right now trading flat. Uh, bottom line, trying to stay inside its higher range. The, the higher range there in the silver market is $16.98. Oil, oil says some high volatility out here in oil. Yesterday you were down about a buck and a half inside the oil market. Uh, bottom line, you're up a buck 90 out here today. Um, and we'll see whether uh, that basically can handle the $58 area once again. You're at 5711 Each and every time this comes up to the 5780 the $58 area, it just gets slammed. It goes south, and it does go south uh, with volume inside the marketplace. The Fed minutes came out uh, earlier today, folks, and inside the Fed minutes, uh, bottom line is that they're talking about... Um, a basically downdraft in the economy kind of in general. Uh, bottom line, they're not talking about something that's heavy. Uh, they're, they're aware, however, with the, the trade tensions that are out there uh, that they very well uh, don't see smooth sailing coming ahead of us. Now, what's going to be intriguing here is that when you take a look at the Fed fund future rate, uh, we are at 1.5 to 1.7 right now. That's, that, that's the discount rate. Your next meeting is on December 12th. Uh, bottom line, they don't see the Fed fund futures rate, this is, uh, doesn't see that we'll basically get a cut in rates. Uh, what has happened out here today, however, since they did come out with that statement, is that it goes up uh, to 22% in January, um, 34% in March, and 39 in April. The bottom line is that it's an expansion up again versus flat. And so that's saying that, guess what? The rate structures on the way down are not done yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.